just gets right past them. See ya! It's a complete glitch. Break yourself, fool! The fast, cheap, reliable mud coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. Hey, what's going on? Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got another gameplay video for you guys and a new offense that I'm using. That's right, I told you guys a while back I really wanted to switch up my offense uh, from the pistol playbook. I'm currently using the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, which for years I've said is one of the best passing playbooks in the game. But I want to show you guys uh, all the firepower that this particular playbook is working with in this gameplay video. So if you guys want to see more gameplays like this, more offensive-based gameplays like this, do me a favor, hit the like button and let me know in the comments section. Section. Other than that, before we get into this video, I'm currently rocking a 97. If you guys are trying to get your mud team up like mine, do me a favor, check out my coin sponsor at MMOXP.com. Link in the description below and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off. Now, one of the reasons I'm using the Tampa Bay Buccaneers offense, like I said, to me it's one of the best passing playbooks in the game. I start off with a pretty vanilla formation, uh, which is, you know, the gun split. This is a formation that, you know, any playbook this is in, I'm, it's going to be one of my go-tos. Now, the first play doesn't really work out too good. Probably could have hit that B route because he was running a man coverage, which is pretty much going to be his base coverage throughout the game. The Mike splits zero out of the three three five wide. This is one of the, to me, one of the better defenses in the game. If you guys don't know, a lot of people typically like to put their outside linebackers slash safeties uh, into uh, curl flats and basically take away, you know, any outside crossing patterns. So that makes this a very tough defense, and it's a defense I've been running into a lot, which is one of the reasons that I changed this playbook as some of the best man beating routes in the game. Now I'm going to jump around from formation to formation but one of the formations i'm going to focus on the most is the trips half back week this formation right here like i said is some of the best man beating plays in the game whether it's the smash which that corner route i'm not going to use a ton but it's a very good man beating play two of the plays that i will be using though is the close bucks cross and more importantly the close bucks fade this particular play is a complete chico when it comes to man coverages and it can only be found in the tampa bay buccaneers playbook first play though i hit him with that crossing play um most of this game he is going to have uh, you know these guys underneath these curl flats outside to try to take away these crossers which most people do when it comes to man coverage so I call a hurry up and that's why I'm going to be using this particular play the close bucks fade will completely get around that so it doesn't really matter what adjustments he makes this red route here on the outside just completely torches any man coverage just gets right past them See ya. it's a complete glitch break yourself fool <laughs> You can see it's an instant one play touchdown against a defense like this. No one ever expects it. No one ever sees it coming. They just get beat for instant touchdown. So on the defensive side, I'm going to be using a lot of my 4-3, even 6-1, cover four quarters plays. This is a defense that I put out not too long ago. Very early on, I have a lot of success with this. This is a very good play, a very good blitz. Very next play, we're going to get a lot of pressure with this. We can go. Woo! Um, I think he was trying to uh, use a man coverage beater on this next play, but didn't work. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. The start gets him right in the third and 19, and then on the next play, we're just coming in with that instant pressure again as he barely gets the ball off. Mine, 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 mine. Mine. Starting off on the offensive side, I go with the Bucks seam play. This is another very good, uh, you know, one play touchdown type of play against man coverage, but I kind of pre snap uh, diagnose it and I just throw it blindly, and he didn't have the outside edge, so Damn it. I throw an interception, give him the ball right back. So back on the defensive side, still getting that pressure. We're going to keep running that blitz. We can go. Nope. Second and 10, once again, coming in from the edge, coming up the middle. Get over here! I mean, there's just nowhere to go with this ball. Early on, my opponent has no idea what to do. Then on third and 21, he's going to go, you know, throw it into the wood chipper one more time. Nope. He got the coverage all over that as we get a, a knock away. So he's going to punt the ball away this time. And we're going right back to that Bucks fade play. As you can see, I mean, this guy, he just gets an instant release. See ya. Off of that jam. Break yourself, fool! <laughs> and he's gone. And we're instantly up two touchdowns. Now on the defensive side, he starts hitting me in the flats with some RPOs. Uh, he causes me to change up my defense a little bit. I come out in some man coverages here. He once again hit me with that same RPO. You know, I can't give up that swing route. So I decided to switch to a man. If he's gonna hit me with that RPO, hopefully the man would take care of it. It does, and we get a stop. So we get him back to a third and five, and then we're going right back to that blitz, right back to that cover four quarters, get the pressure right up the middle. Woo! 
and he has no idea what to do. He has no idea what to look at. But at the next play, I make one adjustment mistake as I base the line one too many times, and these linebackers are way too far out to make any type of uh, impact on the play. I mean, they got to run like 30 yards to get even close to the quarterback. Then on the back half, I make a user mistake because I'm way out of position as well. Oops! He hikes the ball way before I'm ready. He gets a really easy touchdown. Okay. If you're going to run that defense, you really got to be on point. Next play, he's user rushing me now from the 3 through 5 which is something a lot of people do. Uh, getting me in a bad position. Now I'm in second and 22. But like I said, I have some really good plays out of this. I have no fear that I'm going to get it done. Here, I dot this guy up. I mean, he's got the zone coverage dialed up to take that away. Um, but, you know, I still I still thread the needle. I still get it in there. On the next play, though, we're going to go with that smash play. Uh, like I said, this is something that I don't run a ton. But this outside uh, corner route is a very good route against man coverage, just as long as you throw it in the break. Uh, but I do see, once again, on the right side, I mean, my guy does beat the jam. See ya! Break out that move! We're hitting another one-play touchdown. Another very easy one-play touchdown on the other side up two touchdowns i mean we switch it up we go a little bit more vanilla uh, a little bit more zone friendly and on the next play i mean he's just not ready for you know the the time gotcha, bitch. as he throws an interception right to Deion sanders we get a really weird tackle animation though is tackled by stefan diggs using the force force is strong <laughs> That won't be the last time you see Stefan Diggs doing some out of world uh, type stuff. On the next play, we go right back to that, uh, you know, PA seams play. This is still a very good man coverage play. And we're going to have success this time as we basically just wait for this cross or this slant check down. And we're up big. We're up three touchdowns. 28 to 7. Uh, going right at this guy with 56 seconds left. Once again, dropping everybody back. This is why I don't like to do this. I don't like to drop guys back in zone because you can see here, he just hits me with a deep cross and he just flips the field just like that. If I'm going to get dotted, I'm, I'd rather get dotted sending the pressure. So on the next play, I go right back to that heat. Uh, and, and, you know, it's a little bit late now as he hits me with a, an, a simple out route on the corner. Now he's inside the five. Um, so, you know, we basically just let him go right down the field because we were a little bit too vanilla, a little bit too cautious Damn it! under 40 seconds left in a half then you know i still got some time so we're gonna try to bomb it up we've been bombing it up this entire game and make one adjustment i put my running back here on a streak just to kind of pull coverage if there's a any safety help or you know maybe he can get past and sure enough this rb route here i just barely dot this up over the top he could go oh. that's was andre johnson he gets caught i try to run a hurry up i really didn't expect this much time to roll off But I don't know what happened there. When I watched the replay, it turns out he got nudged off by his own receiver just standing there. Can you guys just stand there? Come on! And that cost me another touchdown as time expires. So to start the second half, my opponent, I mean, I guess he's figured out a route for this defense now. Which, to be honest with you, is a route that I see a lot. I try to cheat over and try to jump it on the next play, but I just leave my assignment wide open. I just didn't think he had room. <laughs> and then he back shoulders me and scores right away. So we're only up a touchdown, uh, but we have a lot of good plays left in our arsenal. One play I just put out a scheme from, the PA fork shot. I absolutely love this play. This is a play, this this route on the left side is a very good man-beating route. I have so many great man-beating in the Bucks. That's one of the reasons that I'm using this book. And you can see right here, I mean, I thought we had that. I don't know what happened. He just didn't quite have the burners. What? Then on the next play, third and five, I mean, I just rolled right into that pressure. And we're just losing a ton of yards. So the second half is not starting off well. Fourth and 21, we got to punt the ball away. We got to give it back. Now we're, you know, we're trying to mix things up. We come out in a cover two man, uh, you know, just seeing if we hit him with some man coverage to see, you know, what way, because he's coming up with way too many big plays. We shut down just about everything, but he playmakers up. And I don't know how he caught this ball. I mean, he got blasted. What? Between catching impossible balls like this and force tackling my defenders, I think I got to go pick this card up. I mean, he must be one of the best cards in the game. On the next play, hit me with some read options. I mean, Randall Cunningham has a pretty good game, but this guy is not going away. Almost in the fourth quarter on the very next play, he just beats me right over the top. Damn it! Uh, with guess who? Stefan Diggs having the game of his life. Touchdown! Unbelievable! Uh, so back on the offensive side, I mean, I'm not going to go away easily either. So we're going right back to that Buck scene play. This is a play that typically has a lot of success against man coverages. And on this next play, that's exactly what's going to happen is we're going to basically just put our outside corner, our outside routes on some check down zigs. And this Y route is just gone instantly. Break yourself, fool! 
score another touchdown instantly. So going into the fourth quarter, I mean, it's not even the fourth quarter yet. We got 35 points. Uh, then on the defensive side, we're going to hit them with some cover threes. Cover threes are supposed to be good. I never have success running cover three. So many people run cover three. I absolutely hate cover threes. You can see right there, it beats me outside. I don't know what it is. I just have no success when I run cover three personally. It's not a good defense for me. It's right here. Tries to beat me across. Although this time, at least the cornerback plays back gotcha, and we get an interception in the end zone. Then we're going right back to that gun trips halfback week. We're going to go back to that smash play. This is a play here. It's a very good man being played, but you really have to throw it on timing. And I throw the ball right here. I have separation. But what I didn't have is my starting quarterback in the game, Rich Gannon. I had uh, Lamar Jackson throwing it, and Lamar Jackson doesn't have gunslinger. So he throws an absolute dead, dying duck <laughs> that gets picked off. And now we're back on the defensive side. Little things like that can really cost you games. Uh, now we're on the defensive on the very next play. I mean, he just beats me right at the seam of a cover three. Damn it! Which, like I said, that's why I don't like cover threes. I don't feel like cover threes are good. Even post-patch, I'm not a fan of cover threes. I've never had success running those. Then on the offensive side, we're hitting him with that outside uh, fade route again. What? Have no idea why I didn't catch that ball. I mean, I threw it perfectly. It was on point. It was on time. Uh, and it just didn't come down. So it is what it is. Back on the defensive side, this guy's, you know, he's he's in the driver's seat right now. Fourth quarter, not a lot of time left. I got to get a stop. And I haven't had a defense for this guy all game. Now he's torturing me in my cover two mans. Uh, pretty much everything I'm throwing at him. I try to go back to the blitz, which had a lot of success early on. Hit him with the cover one variation. Now he's beating me with run plays. I mean, there's so many things that have gone wrong throughout the course of this game. On the next play, comes out in that same spread formation. So I try to make an adjustment, think he's going to try to hit me with that deep uh, crossing route that he's been hitting me with. But sure enough, I mean, he just basically hit me with a bunch of slants and zigs. And, you know, the coverage just played too far back. So now I'm in a bad spot. I mean, I have one timeout left, 50 seconds left on the clock. I got to get a stop here at the very least to have a chance. And sure enough, I mean, we get the stop. We forced to kick a field goal with 14 seconds left. And no timeouts down three is not a good position to be in. So we're going to go to that Bucks play one more time. That Bucks fade one more time even with that cornerback lit up you will see that this receiver still gets right past them but i still have lamar jackson in the game at the very wrong time it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up break yourself fool he just doesn't have enough throw power to get that ball out there no nope. we throw an interception to end the game so we're definitely riding the l train but it is what it is it was definitely a good game and i wanted to bring it to you guys because it definitely shows the offensive firepower that the Tampa Bay buccaneers playbook does have i just couldn't figure out anything consistently on defense to uh, to throw at this guy also for people that say i don't post losses i have post losses in the past uh but you know i think wins are way more fun so hopefully in the future i'll have more win gameplays if you guys want to see more gameplays like this do me a favor hit the like button and let me know in the comments section other than that thanks for watching man my shit out you suck need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below